Hello Kansas City, I am here with Mike Meyer. I am here in Overland Park, Meyer Music, and this gentleman here is truly a band of angels. He is an angel here in Kansas City, and he in 2010 went out, and can you tell us a little bit more about um, when you founded Band of Angels? Yeah, well, the, the kind of long story is my mom and dad were both music educators or educators in Kansas City, Missouri schools, and so we've been in the family music business for 50 years. And uh, we always, there was a group of kids that would come in each year to try and get an instrument or rent an instrument so they could be in a school music program. And financially, it just was not in the cards for them. And so I um, was approached by Fox 4 TV, an amazing community partner here in town, to start something that would be a community project that had to do with the arts. And so I thought, well, gosh, I know we've sold a lot of instruments to people that their kids have grown now. They're probably sitting in a closet. If we can just get them to bring them in, and so Fox was like, we love this idea. So um, they get on the air and promote it. People show up here at the store and donate an instrument, and then we pair it with one of those students. Absolutely incredible organization. So you heard Mike, if you've got an instrument, anywhere in the home, anywhere in the basement, dust it off, bring it on in deep. Three locations here, Meyer Music, you can go online, one over in the park, one over in the Blue Springs, one North Kansas City. Right. Drop off any instrument except, I was told, organs, pianos, and drum sets. So stay away from those. But with that being said, um, there's a few different events. Um, coming up next month, February 3rd, can you tell everyone about your, your gala? Sure. Well, we, we, like every charity, we have to raise funds. And so this is the funnest gala that I've ever been to. Um, basically what we do is we bring in students that have gotten instruments through the program. We have an amazing house band called Right on Red and we let them perform with the band. And uh, so as you're up dancing and having a great time partying, you're actually seeing students that you've helped right up there on the stage. And I would like to brag a little bit, sitting here and learning a little bit more about Band of Angels. It's safe to say you guys have collected over 3,500 instruments. Yeah. And you've been able to get them out into the community. One other piece that I've learned here about Mike, and, and this organization is it's not just local. So they are taking in instruments here all over the Kansas City region and they are shipping them out all over our country, not only our country, outside of the country. You wanna tell a little bit more about that, please? Yeah, well, we do uh, two things with that, which was really cool. One, um, we've given out instruments to about 12, 15 different states. Um, the truth is there are students in every community, no matter how affluent or how unaffluent, that are um, in need. You know, you may have grandparents raising a child, uh, you may have a parent who's deceased, uh, we've had foster care, all of those. Um, and so where the location is doesn't really matter to us. So um, once we started doing this here in Kansas City, we realized, well, we can get an application in from Arkansas or Texas or Florida or California um, and send an instrument to a student that's just as in need there as they would be here. Um, and then one really cool thing is, you know, COVID was not fun for anybody. We actually worked with University of Kansas to put on a virtual music camp um, where you would normally have about 300 kids come to a camp in person. We had 1,950 kids participate in this camp from 46 states and five different countries. So it shows that, you know, there is no border for us. There is no zip code or geography that we adhere to. We just want to find that student that has a desire to play music and help them be able to get an instrument to do it. I think what you said is really powerful. Uh, music does not have any sort of borders, doesn't have any sort of boundaries. Uh, music brings us all together. That's what I find so remarkable about Band of Angels, what you're doing. So if you'd like to find out more information, they're always looking for volunteers. They are definitely looking to help with the fundraising piece. Um, coming up February 3rd, we'll put some links down below. Uh, what is the website? Uh, bandofangels.org. Bandofangels.org, go on there, find out about uh, what they've done, what they're doing. Again, if you're just at home and you're watching this video, uh, there's a lot of us that have instruments downstairs. Go clean them off, bring them on in. Just know that if they're not gonna go to someone here in our city, they are gonna go to a child in the community that needs them. And I have to tell you, um, thank you for all you do. Oh, well, listen, thank you for highlighting uh, groups like us. We are not a, a huge organization by any stretch. We've grown a lot in the, in the 12, 13 years we've been doing this, but um, this is vital to those grassroots efforts where you're trying to do something in your community to make it a better place. 
and to help um, somebody along and you know give them a hand up. It's not a hand out, it's a hand up. It is a hand up and I will say that um, I didn't know any of this when we sat down with Mike here this afternoon, um, but my daughter plays the violin in the Lee Summit Orchestra and um, learned that Meyer Music is out there over 60 school districts all over the metro. So just go out there, make a difference in your community, continue to spread love and cheer, and thank you very, very much for joining well, us. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Make it a great day.